Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter DX7.5L Weld On Drum Brake Actuator for a 2 inch hitch ball. It has a 7,500 pound weight capacity. Now you'll use this actuator to synchronize your trailer's drum brakes with your tow vehicle brakes. This hydraulic actuator will activate your trailer brakes when the tow vehicle slows or stops. Basically what happens is when you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, deceleration occurs and the momentum will push your trailer toward the rear of your vehicle. So with the surge brake system, this actuator is triggered as your trailer moves forward while the tow vehicle slows. So what happens is this inner slide tube right here of the actuator will telescope in. It applies force to the master cylinder back here, which in turn will supply the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage your trailer's brakes. If you notice on this actuator, it's a nice low profile coupler latch, ensures easy secure connection. There's no latch sticking up that it could get dented or damaged or bent. This has a nice low profile look to it. And it is an over center latch mechanism, so it'll only engage when the actuator is fully seated on your two inch hitch ball. Now I do wanted to show you, I happen to pull, here's an example of a two inch hitch ball it fits on. Just to show you how this coupler will work, you can see what you want to do first Let's go ahead and open it up. First, what you'll do is it has this tethered safety pin right here. You just pull that safety pin out, and that'll release it. And then what you'll do is this latch, you can see this little rounded portion right at the top here, that slides back and forth. Just push that, and it'll let you release it, and it lifts the latch up. So now you're ready to install onto the hitch ball. So if I lift that up, if we put our hitch ball there, you can see that it'll drop right onto the two inch hitch ball. Push that close and then it's locked on there. And then for added safety, you take this tethered safety pin, slide it all the way through there, and that'll hold that into place so it doesn't come off the ball. Even if by chance something would let, push this lever and, le and release it, it still doesn't come up enough to release it from the ball. You do have to take the pin fully out, then raise the latch all the way up, and then it'll allow you to release it from the ball. So very nice connection and disconnection of the hitch ball. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put our pin back through there. <clears throat> now if you notice it does include this breakaway cable. This cable right here is required by law and what this does is it prevents a trailer runaway situation. This hook right here, you'll run this to your tow vehicle, hook it to your tow vehicle, and then what happens if by chance this comes disconnected from your tow vehicle, it will pull on this cable, which will then activate the master cylinder back here, and that'll put the, apply the brakes to a runaway situation. So the idea of the breakaway cable is to keep a trailer from a runaway situation. Also, I wanted to show you, if I flip this upside down, you might be able to see the end of the master cylinder right here. The master cylinder is constructed of aluminum rather than plastic or steel, gives you increased strength and corrosion resistance. And also at the very top, flip it back over, you'll notice here's the flush brake fluid filler cap on top. And again, it's flush, so it doesn't stick up, so there's no chance of anything hitting it and breaking it or damaging it. So all you have to do is unscrew that to check your brake fluid level and to add brake fluid to your master cylinder. If you notice, this has a nice prime finish to it. Now this is a weld-on installation. It is designed to fit three inch by three inch or three inch by four inch straight trailer tongues. This part is made in the USA. Few specs again. Application is for hydraulic drum brakes. The ball size it fits on is a two inch diameter hitch ball. Weight capacity is 7,500 pounds. Last thing I do want to mention on this, now this uh, actuator does not include a reverse lockout. So it is recommended that you equip the trailer with either an electric reverse lockout solenoid. What that does is it screws into the back of the master cylinder, wires into your reverse light circuit. So when you put your vehicle in reverse, it'll automatically turn off the, uh, doesn't allow the brake pressure to apply to your brakes. The other way is you can install free backing brakes on, right? free backing brakes on your trailer. That way you can drive in reverse without triggering your trailer brakes also. But that should do it for the review on this Dexter DX7.5L Weld On Drum Brake Actuator for a two inch hitch ball. Has a 7,500 pound weight capacity.